Guys, monumental day, Pizza Holics. Monumental day. I'm over here at Baby Luke's. It's only open a couple of weeks. Right around the block from the original Lucali here in Carroll Gardens, Brooklyn. I got a couple slices, guys. Let's go eat. The one time I wanted to sit outside, I forget my microphone. So in the car, audio quality should be fine in the car. I got three slices. I got their standard and one of their Ronies, baby. Guys, this place only makes Sicilian pizza. That's it. It's a slice shop. And so I got slices. This is a thicker style, New York style, Sicilian style pizza. Albeit a much more artisanal Sicilian pizza, judging by the looks, guys. I do have some concerns, guys. I got some concerns upon first glance. I'll tell you about it after I taste it. First, I got to taste it. I can't just, you know, judge it by looking at it. So we're going to grab a plain baby. We are going to grab one of these plain babies. It feels nice. Feels very, feels nice and airy. A little pale on the bottom. A little pale there. I don't know. A little pale on the bottom. Smells great. That grated cheese cuts right through my nostrils. Mmm. 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 Ooh, that cheese, baby. Very light. The sauce is ripe with flavor. And that cheese is so rich. The two cheeses that he puts on here, very rich. Mm. Guys, look at those air pockets, guys. Check them out. It's a very light pizza. I just wish it was a little crispier on the bottom because it's nice, soft, and pillowy. Very light and airy. It doesn't have that massive crunch that you want on the bottom of every Sicilian. And I think it's because it's a bit pale and perhaps slightly undercooked. All right, guys. What do you say we move on in to the laboratory and take a closer look and dissect what is right here before us, folks? I was very impressed with the flavor of this pizza. That sauce was absolutely delicious. A little on the chunky side, nice and rich, ripe with fruity tomato flavor, never too sweet, or uh, it did not strike me as a pasty tomato sauce, not by far. The cheese was wonderful, rich, a good bite from that sharp Parmigiano or Pecorino or uh, grated cheese, if you will. I think he uses better basil at his original Lucali location. Uh, really delicious pizza, guys. Highly above average. However, a bit dry towards the back. A bit dry towards the back, guys. Gonna have to dock serious points because, in my opinion, it is undersourced. Towards the back only. Not in total. I'm expecting more toppings. And not just more sauce, but more mozzarella, too. More mozzarella as well. So, yeah, I got to tell you right now, guys, I'm a bit disappointed. A bit. A bit. That being said, the flavor was there, guys. It was there. Guys, the bottom of this pizza is very pale. So pale that we're going to have to move this baby down the scale, guys. This is not what I want to see when I turn over a slice of pizza, guys. Come on. We need a little more char on this baby. This is going to be a very difficult pizza to score, and I'll tell you why. I already told you why, but I'm going to tell you. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to sum it up in a nutshell, guys. The ingredients are fantastic. Even the crust is fantastic. It's not cooked the way I like it. This doesn't strike me as as a um, a final product here. It's just perhaps the recipe or the strategy used to produce this product may change as uh, time passes. I don't know why uh, they skimped out on cheese and sauce. 
and why they're not cooking this thing a little more the place just opened up very packed beautiful space beautiful location here in carroll gardens if you notice baby lucali kind of looks a little bit like lucali right here before us the green awning no sign but exterior aside guys the pizza produced at baby luke's doesn't match up to the pizza produced here at the great lucali in my opinion i think maybe in the beginning mark was a little more hands-on here obviously with lucali i don't know how hands-on he is with his new pizza here uh, the crust wasn't too bad it is quite an airy pizza it looks like uh, somebody was supervising something here, but uh, in my opinion, guys, uh, I can't say this one is one of the best Sicilians in all of New York City. Uh, I got to rate what's in front of me, guys. So I'm going to give this to seven and a half because the ingredients are up there with some of the best I've had. Sauce, cheese, even a crust is good. It's just, just not prepared the way I like it, guys. So uh, I'll give it to seven and a half because... It is a seven and a half, despite the flaws. Uh, but uh, it's a shame. Could have been better. Recommend it. It's still, it, it is a unique pizza, I must say. Despite all I said about it, despite everything I said about it, it does have its own character. Be well, guys. Smash that like. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And until next time, this is Antonio signing off.